Basma, you were here three years ago too. Um, you've asked us not to show any footage of you from that time because yep. you've switched from wearing the hijab, the headscarf, to wearing what we can see now, which is the niqab. Mm -hmm. Uh, tell us why you made that decision um, I've been since we last for, spoke to you. I've been wearing it for around a year and a half now. And I guess um, I started to get into my religion more. And I wanted everything and anything that could strengthen me, that could pull me up, give me more confidence. Um, and this was something that I wanted to do, that I could do. And when I wear it, it makes me feel like I can, com com I can compromise everything else besides my religion. I mean, uh, it just it gives me a boost. And it's something that my parents personally don't agree with, like, the, not that I don't what, agree what with. What do you mean when you say I can compromise everything else except my religion? What does like, that mean? I feel like I can push away everything else, but what I feel happy in, as in like in my religion, I can't change that. I don't want to change it because it's me, it's something that I love. And when I do this, I face a lot of, um, like, people have stereotypes, people staring at me. Sometimes people won't look at me in the face because they think I can't see, but I can see. I have eyes. <laughs> and they're very clear, you know. Um, <laughs> I'm a normal human being. Um, not everyone's definition of happiness is mine. And what I find my happiness is, is my religion. I like being strong in it. Is it an unusual decision in your religion to do that as mm. a 16 year old? I don't know. It depends where you go. I can't actually answer that completely. Like, like I was saying with my parents, to them they say um, one thing with them was that you're too young. Another thing was, you know, you're going to face so many, you know, hardships in life and because of where you live in Australia, people are not used to it and they think terrorism, they think this. Well, it actually gave me confidence, like, okay, you think it's different, you think that it's something that I should not be doing, well, I'm actually going to do it and I'm going to prove that I can do it and accomplish things in doing it. Mm. So, do you, to get back to the theme here, do you feel different when to other 16-year-olds? When people stare at me and call me names, that's when I feel different. And does that happen very much? Um, you know, I'll be completely honest, I don't go out that much. Not because of the niqab, I just, I have a lot of things to do at home. But if I, I have to admit that this does affect me going out because of the things I face. But um, So you're going through what Momo went through sort of, three but, years ago, sort of. Yeah, but because I have more confidence in my religion and I know what I'm doing it for and because I am doing it for my own self, I feel like, you know what, I don't really care what anybody else thinks. You know, people are doing what they want to do because they want to be happy. I want to be happy too. And what, when did you decide this? When um, did you decide to do this? How old were you? <laughs> it was a few months before I turned 14. Wow. So yeah. that's, that's quite young and you're yeah. quite definite by the sound, sounds yeah, of it. It took me a year to convince my parents to let me actually wear it. I spent a year telling my parents to let me wear it, but they wouldn't let me. And just one day popped up wearing it and they didn't say anything. 